Welcome. We're doing a taste test. At okay. Or do you want to try the drink first? Let's try this one. Okay. So first up so is we don't kill ourselves. Cookies and cream Twix. This is the ice cream version. I never knew they made an ice cream version. Neither did I. I knew they made the. We've tried the cookie, or we've tried the Twix. Oh, mine broke. You got the whole one. So that's good. I have a bag for trash. It looks like that inside. It's greatly different from its uh, Twix counterpart. I like this version better. I think both are pretty good. They are, but this one's better. <laughs> but yeah, 100% better. Uh-huh. Hmm. Oh, cold, 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 cold. Oh. The lumps are like little cookie pieces, mm -hmm. and uh, it's creamy. It's not too cookie, and it's not too caramely. The caramel actually adds something to this to give you that stickiness that you need to keep the thing together. And I hate caramel. So it pulls it together and holds it to one thing, and the chocolate is just right. So, Twix did good on that. Mm -hmm. They did good on the cooking one before, and this is just good. But yeah, that is definitely better, because they did have a little problem with it, but not the worst. Trust me, Oreo did the worst with their cooking one. So, yeah. That was a decent treat. And we only paid a dollar at the dollar store. Mmm. He did. Okay, so should we get to our southern tea? Okay, so Lipton has a sweet tea out there. I threw out the packaging because I made the whole picture. Didn't think she'd actually want to try the southern sweet tea. It don't taste nothing like a southern tea. Doesn't even taste like sugar. I know. It tastes like the regular tea. Mind you, Lipton is uh, maybe famous, but they're famously known for mediocre tea. So that's a mediocre tea. Not good, not bad, but it's not southern. And I know southern tea. I have southern relatives. I spent the summers in the south. Don't want to spend summers in the south. It's freaking hot as ah! Send her ass back to Arizona. I've been there. You would have thought. Chocolate on my boob. Lick it off. <laughs> That's all the napkins. I don't know. You had them up there. You freaking moved them. When'd you get this one? My birthday. Aww. It's been up there for a while. I never noticed them. Because I always, you know, play with those. Yours and my PG. Okay. So, you get to pick. <clears throat> Mind you, I put this here for you to have a savor. Okay, so uh, this is one of the pecans, so let me just grab the other pecan. Where's the other pecan? So we got all three pecans. Okay, so she picked up the Russell Stovers, but we also have turtles, uh, original sea salt. Let's do the sea salt one big first, because uh, that way you can cleanse your palate with some uh, pecans. Okay. So this one's the Turtles Pecan, and these may not be as gooey as they usually are because they've been in the fridge. Because, you know, we never know when we're going to get together anymore. That, and they were the ones that melted. Mm-hmm. Waiting, waiting. There it is.
I don't like this one. No, dog. Because once you get to a certain point, you can taste the salt in them, but. I thought maybe the second bite was like... Yeah, some people may like salted caramel. We don't. Oh, oh my God. There's a aftertaste of salt. It now feels like I just gargled my mouth of salt. You do that when you lose a tooth. Yeah, but you shouldn't be doing that with a... Tons of damn power. Ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's compare that to the original turtles. <laughs> it's good. I hate the fact that it was in the fridge because the caramel ends up being hard. But that's because of the fridging. If you let it sit on, it's all out. Exactly. And we know they did the caramel right. But this is delicious. And it's just our flavor palette for it. The drill is pretty good. Teach you, take care of it. Mm -hmm. Also, Russell Stover's made pecan delight. Now, this one's bigger than the other ones. This has four instead of three, but different brand. And all were about the same price. They're smaller. Oh, well, they're about the same size. They just don't look as nice. They went heavy on the caramel and light on the pecan. It's still good though. Better than the first one. Yeah, I just noticed that. I like. I don't like Russell Stover's chocolate very much. That was better than the first one. No shit. We don't like sea salt. Salt of caramel. We don't like. But I prefer turtles over Russell. What's your conclusion on that one? I I never like Russell. The sugar-free candy I do like, though. Yep. It's tasty and also makes you go poop. What? It made me run to the bathroom so many times I don't know what. Okay, so. Do we do uh, tasty cakes or Kit Kat? See, I was looking for these before this whole thing was going down, but I could only find a huge amount. Excuse me. So these are Kit Kat birthday cake. There are several different flavors I have not found yet that we can try. But still, so, this is one of the flavors that was on the palette. Mm. Hey, look, it's already broken in half. And it's I, snap. And I like how they have sprinkles. Yes, it's uh, white chocolate basically with sprinkles. You feel the crunch of the sprinkles. It really does taste like birthday cake. Shut up, I knew it was dark. You're contemplating, I'm not liking it. I don't like Kit Kats. 
but I like the flavor of birthday cake, if that makes any sense. Yeah, or nay? That would probably be a yay. I hate the flavor of birthday cake. Cold Stone makes the best birthday cake ice cream. Okay. Now, while I say I hate birthday cake, I really hate cake flavor that's candy. But in that regard, Kit Kat had done a fantastic job in not making it coyingly sweet. I think that's why I like it because their original Kit Kats are very sweet. I don't like them. Mm. And you know I don't like Kit Kat. Yeah. Okay. We both hate white. Despite... We just ate a white Kit Kat. Well, we got a Snickers white now. You racist bitch. It mm. was it was melting. It melted. It melts like us in the sun. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so it is white. Dude, it has the same skin complexion as me. Our oh. chocolate doesn't go with Snickers. Mm -mm. This is so. Oh, it tastes animal fatty. No, we have two left grapes. I get M and M's. I can be quite happy with that. I'm guessing it was decent. It was drinkable. I love the fact that you give it to me who has no table space. There you go. You're taking that back. Tasty or Hostess. What am I talking about? This is Hostess and it's Zingers. I always hate Zingers. They are ice vanilla. I don't like vanilla ice. Why? Because he's a rapper and I hate rap. Vanilla Ice Ice Baby. Wasn't he like the whitest rapper in the world? Yeah, he was actually. I think I can rap. No, no, you can't. Okay, so stay, to save us from our humiliation, we are just dividing one singer between us. Mm -hmm. She gave him the bigger fucking half. <laughs> That's very creamy for starter. But I just hate that frosting. It was really good. The frosting killed it for me. Yeah, pretty much. The frosting makes these unpalatable. Because they could just be a knockoff Twinkie. And they'd be fantastic, but the frosting gives it too much sweetness and a horrible texture to add. And an awful ice cream. So, yeah. Zingers fail because of the frosting. Dang it, I never like frosting. I do, depending on the frosting. Okay. Happy birthday to no one. It's the cupcakes. Hostess birthday cake cupcakes. Should we divide one again? Sure. Well, for starters, they are not showing up because they're so fucking white. But they have sprinkles. Yeah, so basically they're your normal cupcakes from them. Where they have that little swirl from Doom. Why do I keep getting the bigger half? And then it's got the cream inside. Which, they have sprinkles in the cake itself, too. Mm-hmm.
That is sweet. It's good. I just don't like the frosting. I have to box three. Oh my god. I feel like I'm gonna have diabetes tonight. You're the one who keeps buying all this sweet chip. Hey, you wanted to try the cupcakes. Not all of them. She says she hates sweet while drinking soda. It's diet. Aspartame. Kiss my ass. What are you, my sister-in-law? No. <coughs> Careful. I wonder if she actually washes these. Probably not. Orange Coast Cupcakes. Ew. Well, you only have to have one. There can only be one Highlander. That smells really orangey. Well, they don't rip apart very well. They smell good, though. But they don't taste good. Did I eat orange potpourri? Probably. Again, they overdo it with the icing. Yeah. And even if we didn't fridge it, that icing would be hard, unmovable, and unflavorable. Mm -hmm. Basically just sugar. Now, for their totally nethers. This is their knockoff uh, nether butters. Well, to start with, I do not like the fact that they have the funny, funky design. Okay, there's the clear mark. Clear mark? Yeah. Since you always get the smaller piece. <laughs> there's a lot you right there. And she got you a smaller piece. <laughs> huh. I don't like that. It's more cardboardy. It's eatable. Uh, but it's not enjoyable. Mm -mm. It tastes like those um, wafers. And I don't like it. Like I said, it's not bad. It's just... They didn't do the nutter butter justice. Uh-uh. But I'll definitely eat those because when I get into a chocolate fat, Fab. I rarely give a shit. Mm -hmm. So, Reese's or M&M's? Uh, I don't care. Because we still have the end. Okay. The new and improved brownie M&M's. I finally seen the commercial for those. Yeah, the brownie, the fudge brownie. And, uh, dude, these things feel huge in the packaging. Yeah, they do. Okay, so, opening up, they are your basic colors. Oh, oh, oh. Well, nice to know you can hit me. I don't need all these. Look, it's Saturn. Ah. What the fuck is that texture? Brownie. I just dropped a piece of candy on the floor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they have this little nugget looking turd thing. And that's the brownie mix, so it's squishy. And just get the weirdest texture. Of six day old brownies. Not that great. I prefer the nutter butter. The knock off nutter butter. Yeah, that's pretty bad when I'm gonna fuck up that badly. Mm -hmm. Give me a stick. Give me a stick. Give me a stick of Reese's. 
I'm gonna pop my fried tomatoes. Okay, so this is a Reese's stick. It's bigger than my head. Uh, so it does. It says four sticks, so we shouldn't be too worried. She's probably gonna steal all these because she loves Reese's. I do. Okay. Get away from your brethren. Well, besides being slightly melted, that was pretty damn decent. Well, it doesn't break off too easily, but inside it's kind of a... My little brother would like peanut butter to happy. I like them better, though. It's eatable, but still too much peanut butter. I don't like Reese's peanut butter. I wanna know what kind of peanut butter it is. It's creamy. Cause I like their peanut butter. That's Reese's peanut butter in their Reese's products. I go to the store and I actually buy their Reese's peanut butter. Like their peanut butter literally says Reese's on it. I don't know what the hell they do, but I don't like their Reese's. Peanut I do. Butter. I could eat it out of the container. <laughs> okay, and next up is Give me a break. Give me a break. It's break the off a piece of break. that fast break bar. We're using the Kit Kats one. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to still get sued. They can kiss my ass. <laughs> well, 100% of nothing is still nothing. Good point. We ain't making money off this shit. We're just having fun. Exactly. Okay, so this is a uh, <laughs> Reese's fast break, which uh, looks like a giant turd in the picture. You're making me not want to eat it, considering I had to clean up a very bad DM early this morning. Does that look appealing? <laughs> it looks like a penis. <laughs> looks like a penis. That's a penis. It's there, a penis! There's your penis tip. You know what you could do with a tip of a penis? Not eat it. You'd make the guy bleed if you eat it. <laughs> I don't like this. It's really gooey. Kind of tastes like a cookie dough with that Reese's chocolate around it. Really gooey. I don't know. I don't know about that. And last off, in my torture, I also made cheddar jalapeno flaming hot. And Fuck no. Let me try my palate. Okay, so these are fried green tomato flavored potato chips. I never had fried green tomatoes. Have you? I have fried green. So you'll be able to tell us if it's uh, like the flavor. I'll be able to tell if it's disgusting. Everybody's going, fried, fried green tomatoes, fried, fried green tomatoes. I'm like, no. All you do is bake them. They smell like burnt potato chips. You can bake them or fry them. You put them in um, breadcrumbs and stuff. Mm, I know. Not I don't like green tomatoes. Well, you're a bitch. Okay, good. I mean, there's a freaking whopping huge one in here. And yeah, it does. If they're done right, yeah. Tastes like salsa. If they're done right, yeah. Oh my god, that's a lot of salt. I don't put salt on my when I make them. This I would eat with sour cream. Sorry. I was trying to adjust myself. Oh, that's okay. Okay, 
why is there eight coming through the back of my throat? Those are fried green tomatoes. What the hell did they find in jalapeno sauce? Who knows? Okay, so that's not bad, but I'm wondering why the frick I'm feeling the spice. So our verdict? Suck. Wait, this sucks or that sucks? Sucks. Because they're not done right. Suck. They all suck. No, it's decent. Yeah. Remember, the turtles are great. Yeah, turtles are good. Not the sea salt ones, though. These are decent. Everything else kind of sucks. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh. So, I'm going to wrap this stuff up and hope we don't die of the plague. Peace. Where's the off button?